Make fun of me all you want on CNN or wherever, but everyone already innately knows this. These people are not freaking humans, okay? What do I do, Lord? Destroy the child. Corrupt them all. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Butterbar here. Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we actually have three topics to talk about today. We have to talk about the new blackout mode that's coming to Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Uh, we actually have a date now for when the beta is going to be released, and it's very exciting. In this trailer, we got to see what game modes, at least with solo, duels, and quad game modes that we're going to get to play in this new Battle Royale mode for Call of Duty. We had to talk about the new trailer that Battlefield 5 just released that was showing more multiplayer gameplay from their game, but also teased a little bit of their battle royale mode from their game um, that's going to be released uh, here again in October. We have a busy month of October, if you guys didn't know. As well as my last story, we have to talk about Patrick Sutherland actually leaving EA. This close to the release date of Battlefield 5, people are kind of questioning what the hell is going on at EA. Did he leave? Did he get fired? What is going on? So in today's video, we're going to go over those three topics and kind of talk about what's going on here in the next couple of weeks. Because um, October, man, it's it's getting here. It's getting close. We are, uh, we are on the brink of getting a lot of amazing games in our laps um, so let's talk about it so first off we have the blackout the new br mode that's being introduced in call of duty black ops 4 it's actually being released on september 10th to ps4 only right now there's not been an announcement yet whatsoever about xbox one or pc so if you are like me that actually pre-ordered this game on xbox one you are <laughs> You're kind of getting shut out a little bit, um, so this is actually making me think. You know what? I need to. I need to get a copy of the PlayStation 4 uh, edition of uh, Black Ops 4, just because I really want to get in this. I want to be involved in this BR mode. I, I, as a person that really, don't, I don't really care too much for Battle Royale. I think it's just a fluffed up version of Free For All. Uh, but I'm really interested in playing this game because, you know, for not putting a whole lot of time into Fortnite, not putting a whole lot of time into PUBG, I really, you know, very used to the whole Call of Duty series, you know, the mechanics of it, the first person, you know, shooting and, uh, and the weapons of everything that's in this game. Um, it makes me feel like, you know, it's going to be an easy thing to pick up. Hopefully, I don't know that know that yet or not, but I feel like, you know, been playing the Call of Duty series for such a long time, I'm hoping that this will be an easy thing to pick up, get into, and play it. The one thing I'm kind of wondering, or a couple things I'm actually been wondering, is again, you know, how big is this map? You know, <laughs> with uh, the rumor is that 60 players are going to be in this, you know, it's not going to be the 100 that we have in Fortnite or PUBG. You know, how big is this map? Is it going to be feeling like it takes forever to get to, you know, a, some, some fight that's going to be happening i know a lot of people are going to be jumping into that destroyed version of nuketown but you know for people that are jumping away from you know different areas you know what are going to be the engagement what are they going to be like another thing is weapons what are the weapons going to be like i don't know if they're going to be doing like you know the color coordination uh, you know color you know symbols for you know fortnite where you know different rarities different colors have you know different you know stats or powers or um, you know, damage and whatnot. Are they going to do the same thing in this new Call of Duty? You know, depending on, you know, what color weapon you pick up, it has a certain amount of attachments to it. Or you do you pick attachments up kind of like in PUBG? You know, it just, it, to us right now as gamers and, and play, you know, different, you know, different mechanics in PUBG and Fortnite, or is this going to be a, like, perfect mesh of the two systems um, into one game? They've had, a, you know, a whole year to kind of learn from Fortnite and PUBG on how things are created. So, again, it makes me really wonder how this game is going to play after seeing these two massive games be very successful with this Battle Royale game. So, if you, again, like I will say, PlayStation 4, you guys, September 10th. I hopefully get to see you guys there for this new BR game mode. And uh, hopefully we will have a whole lot of fun with this new game mode. Next up, we have Battlefield 5. Now, Battlefield 5 also released a trailer of some more gameplay of their game, as well as a uh, about a 15, 20 second tease at the very end of you know fire starting to circle around um, this map uh, that we don't know you know what the map looks like. I think the one thing that's funny about Call of Duty is that they've teased a little bit of what their map is going to look like, but for us. You know, Battlefield 5 players, we don't know exactly what we're going to be getting into with this map. I know the one thing that people have been wondering about with this BR mode is uh, they've actually, there's, there is a tank in this trailer. I think that's one thing that might be getting people kind of rubbed the wrong way is that they, they have vehicles, they have tanks um, in this trailer for the, for the BR mode. So it makes people kind of wonder, you know, what is going on? What is going to be going on with this, with this game mode? Are these tanks going to be weak? Are they going to be strong? Are they going to be moderate? Who knows? But I think that's the one thing, at least for 
for you know people that are wanting you know more interest more you know wanting to know more about this battlefield game coming out that we don't really know we know about the, you know multiplayer you know there's there's people that have been playing the uh, closed beta um, and people that played it at EA play and e3 and that's all we know about battlefield 5 we don't really know a whole lot yet there hasn't been an announcement yet of an open beta which I think that is actually the rumor right now that there will be an open beta coming out here in the next couple of weeks um, because they, there's some really big competition I mean <laughs> The funny thing is, is that Battlefield 5 is in a really tough spot. It's pretty much in the spot that Titanfall 2 was in uh, two years ago when it had to compete against Infinite Warfare and Battlefield 1. Battlefield 5 is releasing smack dab in the middle of Call of Duty as well as Red Dead Redemption. So it's very interesting right now um, with uh, the lack of, you know, not knowing what the hell is going on in that game besides a little bit of gameplay from other people that have been either playing it at these different events um, it, it just makes me kind of wonder, as somebody that hasn't tried it out, I've tried the Black Ops beta and had a lot of fun in it, but I'm wanting, I'm, I'm wanting to be that person where I try out another game and I'm like, hey, you know what, I had a lot of fun in this game, now I want to pick it up. But for, for me, I haven't played this game yet, so I have no idea what to expect from it. And it just makes me kind of wonder, you know, what is the game going to be all about? Especially, especially this new BR mode, which, you know, we know a little bit about, you know, what to expect at least with Call of Duty. And we know a little bit what we're going to expect from Battlefield 5, at least with their little trailer. So it's a very interesting time, at least on the BR front, for these two first-person shooter games. Now, lastly, we want to, I want to talk about Patrick Sutherland leading. Now, if you don't know, Patrick Sutherland is pretty much the head of, you know, what's been going on with Battlefield 5. He used to be the head of DICE. And uh, right now, from what the uh, what the news is, is that he actually has departed EA. He, um, he We don't know yet if he was fired. He would let go. Uh, we don't know what's going on, except for he has departed from that company. And it does make me wonder, with this close of a time frame for the release of Battlefield 5, what the hell is going on? Like, something like this doesn't normally happen. You know, people are just let go, uh, you know, at the very end of an, a very important project, um, especially for something that's been, you know, a couple of years in development, I'm assuming. I mean, a couple of years in development since, you know, Battlefield 1 has been released. So it does make me wonder what's going on. I know a lot of people, you know, for the sales of, Black, of Battlefield 5 is that the sales are not really doing that great. And that could be one of the possibilities on why he is leaving, why he's departing. And it does make me wonder, you know, what's going on? What is going on at EA? What's going on at DICE on why one of the head people left there so soon? Is that, that is the game that bad? Is the what, what is going on? I know there was a lot of drama, at least with, you know, the very first trailer that they released, which I, I feel like that should never have happened. That, that trailer should never have been sent out. That trailer was really bad. But once they started introducing some gameplay of the multiplayer, you know, that's when they, you know, I, my interest for the game was getting more and more because I'm finally seeing some you know something that actually has to entail with you know what's going on in the game my my one concern is that you know it does look really similar to battlefield one you know there's not really a huge departure from you know what's been going on in the battlefield series like i would love to go back into modern times um and, and i know i'm probably in the minority of people that like Black Ops 4, but I love, you know, what Call of Duty did with this game, you know, you know, just making changes to a game where it doesn't feel like the same thing over and over and over again, um, and I feel like the changes that they made with, you know, Battlefield 5 um, being kind of um, a goofy type of game uh, with prosthetic arms and, and other goofy stuff, face paint and all this stuff, um, it's just kind of like, uh, I, I know, I get it, it's, it, you're making it more of a fantasy game, um, but I, I'm really wanting something that's more a, uh, you know, I want a war simulator, um, and that's what, you know, Battlefield has always been for me, um, whenever I want to play that game. So it just makes me wonder, you know, for all the drama that, you know, EA has been having, at least with Battlefield 5, it seems like, you know, maybe the sales of this game is making people, hey, you know what? I don't want to pick up the game. I'm, you're not going to get in my business whatsoever. So um, maybe because Patrick Sutherland was the head of, you know, what you know, the game development, you know, did he take off? How, was he fired? Was he let go? Did he was like, you know what? I, it's close to the end of the project. I'm just going to go ahead and leave. Um, and that's just stuff we don't know. And it just makes me kind of wonder, you know, what is going on at EA? Um, just because, again, we we are left in the dark. We have no idea what's going on. But I understand it's their business. Um, but it's just it does make me wonder what's going on. But guys, that was it. Those were the three stories I wanted to talk about. If you guys didn't know about them, um, at least now you know now. At least you know a little snippet about each one of them. Um, we will still keep going into some more Call of Duty gameplay. I'm very excited for this game. It, you know, as soon as I get some Battlefield Five 
uh, game footage, you know, actually playing it. If there is, a, I'm crossing my fingers right now. Hopefully, there is an open beta, you know, coming out. Um, you know, hopefully in the next couple of weeks, and I get to try it out. Um, I will definitely try that out. Um, and hopefully, if it's actually good, if I find it good, I will buy that game and play it. But for right now, I'm going to be going over some call, more Call of Duty gameplay. So I hope you guys enjoy that. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please drop me a like. Let me know down in the comment below, guys. You know, what do you guys think about Blackout? What do you guys think about the new Battlefield 5 BR mode? And what do you guys think about Patrick Sutherland leaving? this close to the end of the Battlefield 5 project. So, guys, again, hope you enjoyed it. Have a great rest of the day, and I will see you guys next time.